And now we can try another example. Factorize x squared plus x x plus 15. The first step will be decompose 15 into two factors. We can have 1 times 15 or 3 times 5. Again, we write the two factors in a vertical format. We have a x plus 1 times x plus 15 or x plus 3 times x plus 5. And the second step will be cross multiply the factors and see which come up with the term in the second term plus 8x. And obviously, the first pair doesn't work because it will have the term 15x plus x and this come up with 16x and this is not what we want. And in the second pair, we have 5x plus 3x and finally we get 8x. Therefore, this is what we want and the answer will be x plus 3 times x plus 5. This is our final answer. And now we can run up our cross method. It simply composed of only two steps. But these two steps must be completed in this order, uh, in the exact order. Step 1. Decompose the last term into two factors. The last term is always the constant term, the number term. And step 2. We can do the cross multiplication of the two factors. And the last step will be we have to make up the middle x term. And so we can now move a little bit further and ask ourselves what if the expression has a minus sign in the middle term? We have x squared minus 8x plus 15. And since it it's a minus 8x. We cannot do this using positive factors. And in fact, if we think deeper, 15, if we decompose it into two factors, we can have minus 1 times minus 15 or minus 3 times minus 5. Because in mathematics, if we multiply two negative numbers, we always come up with a positive numbers. And so, if we have to factorize x squared minus 8x plus 15, the two factors will be x minus 3 times x minus 5. And therefore, if we cross multiply, we have minus 5 times x plus minus 3 times 6, we get minus 8 x. And therefore the answer will be x times 3 multiplied by x times x minus 5. Okay, practice makes